Hello my darlings. Hello my beautiful people. Hello my beautiful souls. I'm me and I welcome you all to my channel Love Healing Tarot International. I want to thank you all for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel. If you like my videos, please keep on subscribing because as soon as we reach 300 subscribers, I will give away three readings for three lucky of you. So keep on subscribing, my darlings. And I want to thank you for pushing the like button, for making comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And my darlings, the today's subject will be what they dream about you. Hmm? Let's find out. So, you have to choose between the disease and the forget-me-not flower and the almonds. So, think carefully and you know what? Because this is a general reading, you can choose more than one readings and because you might have more than one messages to receive and i would also like to tell you that if you would like personal reading from me you can contact me in my email or in my instagram they are both in the description box okay my darlings i'm waiting for you so uh i'll start with the daisies So, my darlings, that you have chosen the daisies, please concentrate to your person so that I can tell you what they dream about you. And let she, my darlings. Okay. Your shadow card is really difficult, emotionally difficult. It's about separation. Uh, so, I believe that some of you that you are here watching this video you feel like this and of course i can understand that you feel betrayed and deeply hurt but you know what my darlings there is no lower than here okay from there there is only up and soon you are going to feel better and you are going to regain your strength and you will take your life back no matter what has happened a separation is not the end of our lives. Please keep that in mind. So, let's see what about your answer, what they dream about you. And we have page of pentacles. Well, I can tell you that this is the slowest, <laughs> but this the more steady uh, page. 
and he's very slow, yes, but you can say that he will succeed whatever he wants because he's very he's very careful he takes a step each time and it's also a beginning i can tell you because pages pages are like um, almost like aces so there is a beginning um, and a method perhaps okay the thing is that they want to do something they want to do something with you they think about it Okay, they do. They think about it. They're making some plans about you. So, he's very serious. This person is very serious, you know. And he's persistent. And sometimes he's stubborn. But he also likes to the knowledge. He wants to know things in deep. So, if this has to do, it does, of course, it has to do with um, love issues. It's the beginning, it's the first steps, it's the first time we come close with, close with the person, the first kiss. Okay, let's see some more well we have seven of cups seven of cups is uh, you know it's not uh, it's someone who lives in uh, in fantasies and or he he wants um, he, he has many many thoughts and he cannot decide they do not really know very well the difference between imagination and physical. It's difficult, they have difficulty choosing between ideas and possibilities. So, they are a bit confused, I can say, from these cards. And perhaps that's the reason they have hurt you so badly. One more card. Wow, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, my darlings, they dream about you as if you are their queen of cups. And this is so beautiful so beautiful you know what queen of cups is very loving she is she inspires love in you or sorry not in you in this person and steers the depths of your of their emotional nature and it's also work in the field of relationship concealing and healing they dream about you that you can heal them 
with your love. Though they are not in a good situation right now, they cannot really decide which way to go. But our final card, it's so lovely. I always love it because, you see, I haven't chosen the title of my channel accidentally. Love Healing Tarot. And that's exactly what this lady here, this Queen of Cups does. Healing through love. So my darlings, I do wish you, for those of you that you really want that, that your person comes to you and reveals how they see you, and what they really dream about you. Such a beautiful ending, my darlings. So, now, I will move to my next reading, Forget Me Not Flowers, okay? And, my darlings, those of you that you have chosen the Forget Me Not Flower that they have my beautiful druid tarot pile please concentrate to whatever to your person so that i can tell you what they dream about you okay my darlings So, let's find out. Wow! I love your shadow card. Major Arcana, the star. One of the best cards in Major Arcana and one of the the ones I love so, so very much. And it's hope, my darlings. It's hope. It's inner and outer connected in perfect harmony. All you need to do is be is be intuition flows like a bright star it's hope it's on optimism it's healing it's openness it's calm it's bright proper proper pets sorry you may develop a calm, clear confidence in the future. If you are in, the, in need of healing, you may find it helpful to tune in regularly to the star's bright yet tranquil energy. Inner feelings of positive self-esteem, well-being and vitality, inspiration. It's such a wonderful card. It has so many beautiful, beautiful meanings, my darlings. So, some of you that you are here, you do have hope. You are very, very positive and bright persons. And let's see your further reading what your person dreams about you wow two cards two major arcana rebirth i love this card as well because it's rebirth <laughs> okay my darlings everything will transform 
Well, I think that your person will hear a call and will follow this call in new directions. And he will make decisions, he or she. Okay. It's a beautiful spiritual path rebirth into a life that is more fully your own. You may have come to a crossroad in your life and a decision is required that will take you in a new direction. And that's what I believe they think about you. They know, they dream that you will follow together a new path. Isn't it wonderful? And one more card. Wow. You have Princess of Swords. She's lovely, isn't she? She wants everything to be clear. It's like Page of Swords. And, um, because in this um, pile we don't have pages, we have princesses. So it's um, they will be objective, and uh, they will. It's they have a very good communication skills and verbal diplomacy. It's good conversation. A new impulse to learn and grow. A fresh viewpoint. It's almost the same, my darlings. Almost. Okay. They dream beautiful things about you. And I believe they want to be with you. But like a new beginning. Okay. Not what you already knew. Something really new. A, a fresh beginning. And for those of you that you are interested, that you want a wish for that, I wish you my reading to become true. And now... I will move to my third and last reading, the almonds and my chakra tarot pile. So, my darlings, that you have chosen the chakra tarot, uh, the almonds, please concentrate to your person. And I'll try to tell you what they dream about you. And let's see, my darlings. Okay, Major Arcana, Temperance, you have as a shadow card. And this is a really wonderful card. It's the first chakra, the chakra that keeps us grounded and close to our roots. So, knowing what your goals are, allowing the right things to flow from unexpected sources, the power is massive. Wow! It's fulfillment. You have such a wonderful card, my darlings. 
as a shadow card. It's fulfillment, it's destiny, it's guiding, guiding others, it's blending. Wow. And let's see what about your answer here. You have Princess of Swords. And your person, it's the fourth chakra, it's the crowd chakra, uh, sorry, it's the heart chakra. And this is the card of piercing truth. This sword is a reminder that your person hold, holds intelligence in their head. It's study, it's examination, it's also spying. They might spy on you. And exposure. Let's see some more. Nine of Wands, fire. Okay, it's the second chakra. And it's the card of igniting inner fire, my darlings, inner fire. It's guidance, sorry, it's guardians. It's recovery, it's patterns. So, The wand's hold is on fire, indicating that they still not yet beyond the problems that they recovering from. While they may soon be ready to move forward, it will not be until they put out the emotional fires that plug them. So they do need some time to clear things and to recover in order to fulfill the dreams. But we don't have an answer, I can understand that. So one more card and we have seven of coins. And seven of coins is the seventh chakra, my darlings. And it's the time of financial evolution. But it's, it's also, this, this card also indicates progress. And something must be removed to make room for the new. Okay, except all the financial good things that brings this, this card, it's also progress. And it's a decision that we have to move something in order to make room for the new. So, they are in a complicated situation. Your person is a very in a very complicated situation, my darlings. They are not ready yet to move on. But with the seven of coins as a final card, I believe that they will come to a point that we, they will make decisions. And there will be a progress in your situation. They're not just not ready yet. So, and they will realize that they must leave something behind in order to bring the new they want in their lives. So, as you can see, 
The cards do not want to give us a clear answer. Perhaps next time, my darlings. So, this was a today's reading. Thank you all for being here with me. If you like my videos, please keep on subscribing. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.